was a wonderful day, a beautiful day when Jesus came in to my heart and how he changed me and made me over new and praise God he's still working on me to make me what I ought to be. If you have your Bibles this evening and you'd like to follow along the scripture reading, we're going to be looking into Romans chapter 8 and beginning to read at verse 18 down to verse 27. And it's entitled in the Bible, in verse, or verse 18, Future Glory. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. The creation waits in eager expectation for the sons of God to be revealed. For the creation was subject to frustration, not by its own choice, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Not only so, but we ourselves, who have the firstborn, first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. For in this hope we were saved. But hope that is seen is no hope at all. Who hopes for what he already has? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we will wait for it patiently. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with God's will. May God add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. Amen. 